The stifle is one of the largest articular joints in the body. A synovial articulation, it enables species to walk with a crouch gait, functioning to decrease an animal's centre of gravity. This acts to reduce energy input, hence increasing movement efficiency. Extension is movement which increases the angle between two bones making up a joint. Extension of the stifle joint is relatively simple involving the large muscle group, the quadriceps, that include the four muscles on the cranial region of the thigh. Functioning as the greater extensors of the knee, the belly of the quad muscles are generally located towards the trunk, acting to reduce the energy required to move the limbs during locomotion. Flexion is essentially the reverse of extension, where there is a decrease in the angle between two bones. Unlike stifle extension, flexion of the knee isn't as simple due to the involvement of various muscles. While the hamstring is the predominant muscle involved in knee flexion, the popliteus and gastrocnemius are also key components in completing the movement. With muscle structure generally determined by the degree of the force required for a task, the hamstring, like the quadriceps, are relatively long muscles with a large cross-sectional area enhancing their exertion force and shortening capacity. The degree of movement in the knee is moderated by ligaments which are elastic structures composed of connective tissue. Arranged in parallel collagen fibers, ligaments are present between adjacent bones, functioning to protect the joint by limiting range of motion and preventing dislocation. There are both intra and extra capsular ligaments that protect the stifle joint. The cranial cruciate ligament prevents hyperextension of the knee, restricting forward overextension of the tibia relative to the femur. The caudal cruciate ligament also prevents dislocation by preventing the backward movement of the tibia relative to the femur. Together, they provide a cranial and caudal stability of the femur and tibia. The extracapsular medial and lateral collateral ligaments are the predominant prevention of medial and lateral overextension, which lead to dislocation. Various muscle groups are involved in the extension and flexion of the joint. Stabilizers such as ligaments and tendons are necessary in moderating these movements, preventing overextension and injuries such as dislocation. These structures define a joint's range of motion and provide the articulation with overall stability.